Welcome RimWalder and welcome to How to RimWalt. This video is about helping you overcoming certain doom in your playthrough. To make it easier for you, this video is divided into three phases. We've got the early game, we've got the mid game, and we've got the late game. Since the same event can vary a lot depending on how far in game you are, timestamps to each phase can be found in the description alongside my Twitch on which I am streaming almost every day. With that, how to RimWorld. Welcome RimWorlders and welcome to How to Ancient Danger. Ancient Danger is an annoying event and basically is a room filled with a lot of goods, a lot of fine things. Oh, he's puking. And pretty much legendary loot. It could be a lot of good things. And this video will explain how to deal with it in three different phases, whether you're early game, mid game or late game. There's general, general tips to how to deal with it. First of all, if you don't know if it's an ancient danger or not, go close to it. If you are within one tile of the wall, a message will pop up with this being ancient danger. Like that. If it isn't, well, it's just a normal ruin with nothing actually in it. Now, a second nice rule, a second nice thing to do is if you want to know what's inside the ancient danger without actually opening it, you will activate it, but you won't be opening it, is by deleting it or removing a tile like this. If you do that, you will actually be removing a wall that doesn't help anything getting out. But by doing this, you will actually activate the ancient danger, seeing what's in it. In this case, we got some insects. Of course, if you get mechanoids, you have to deal with them a little bit differently, but for early game, it's all the same. Now, don't forget, this is on Cassandra Classic Merciless, which means the higher difficulty you're playing on, the more it's going to be in the ancient dangers. Now, in the early game, there's just pretty much one way to deal with them, and that is by doing the traps. Now, we've identified what's in here. Building a trap layout like this is something you can do very, very early game. And it is something that can just deal with whatever is in there. Doesn't matter if it's mechanoids or whatever it is. If you build kind of like a tower defense-ish style wall like this, you will be good. And here's why. So you have three sets of doors, so you can get out and in pretty fast. This door is really, really important. And it's important that as that is being held open. This one, not so much. So let's go close. We'll stand right here, so it is held open. This is to activate the enemies who actually walk the, the side way we want them to. We select the wall, we start deconstructing, we get it almost done. Try to wait to deconstruct this until the enemy is as far as where possible. You don't want to accidentally anchor them, especially if it's centipedes or lancers. They will kill you. You've got to be careful about this. So you want to open this. Immediately after opening it, unless you shoot at them, doesn't matter if it's insects or mechs, they will actually not attack you immediately. Not until you provoke them or you're too close or in line of sight. Now, Mr. Howard here is going to do something that you should always also do. Immediately when you open this, there's Crypto Sleep Caskets. These can have friendlies, dead people, enemies. They can have people in them. Two make them spawn, just hit them once, not that insect, hit them once. In this case, apparently everything in the Crypto Sleep caskets are dead or downed. Because when you shoot one, it will open everything if there's anyone living inside that is not downed. So by doing this, we're sure that, okay, there is no people there to help us. They can actually kill most of the people or most of the things in here. So what we do afterwards is trying to engage them. Now, if we can get a shot in on the insects, we can force them to go through this small maze of traps. And you want to do that by standing exactly like this. You want to stand behind the door, go towards it, draft on draft, so you will stand still while the door is opening. Focus your target. That way you can stand still right here. You can shoot, you can engage them, the door will close, and the only way for the insects to come out now is through your side path. So this is early game, as early as it gets. Just landed, it's day zero, 
everything is all new. So, the insects are doing what we want them to do. You can make this as long as you want to. You can put probably around 12, 12 traps always kills everything. Of course, with these two mega spiders, not everything is going to be dead. So, the way I usually do it is I just make it this long. Usually this is enough. But putting your three starting people on the side here and also having your May later, having all of the defensive items will help you out a lot. Now we can just pretty much deal with this. They can't get out. Aaron here will get a little bit hurt, but shouldn't actually suffer anything major injuries. You can get unlucky and like lose a leg or something. More traps is advised, just to make sure everything will go smoothly. You never know, it might be the mega spiders that trigger all the traps, or the lancers, all the bad things, but it might also just be the small annoying ones actually doing it. So there you have it. That's how you deal with an ancient danger in an early game. With just the three starting people, anything is possible. There is plenty of other ways where you can do this without taking any damage. But see some of my AI videos for that, because that requires kiting and some other techniques that you won't be seeing here. But that's it for the early game. There is a second way to do this, which I'll show in a second. Hi there, and welcome to the second part of early game how to deal with an ancient danger. Now this way of doing things is not advised to do immediately. You should know remove a little bit or just at least try it a few times while saving and loading. This technique works in all phases of the game and it works really well as well to clean up ancient ruins if you're farming them. Basically here is how it works. We are going to glitch ourselves through the wall and destroy anything on the inside of the Ancient Danger before the event is activated. Now this requires a little bit of training because and mapping because you don't really know what's in there. You cannot, you should not do this if you've already opened it up. Then you will just get attacked. But by glitching into this building before it's done will give you some pretty sweet advantages because which you will see soon, you cannot get attacked when you are in glitched into the ancient danger. It's a pretty neat thing and basically follow what I'm doing here. What we want to do is push the, car the colonist through the wall. Now I'm deconstructing the walls here just to be able to stand there. Because what I want is to wall myself in like this build the tiles around me, like this, until there's only one tile left and that's the tile you're standing on. Building this will force your colonies to get pushed to the nearest open spot, which is in the ancient danger and that's why it's working so well. So there we go. We are now in the ancient danger and well, you cannot select your character. You will need to select your character up in the top and this is where the tough things begin. So there's two ways of doing this. One. Let's say it's mechanoids in here. If it's mechanoids in here, and you don't know that obviously, just try to stand on each tile. Now go to all the way to the right. Select the, if I can click it, select the planning tool, just to know kind of where we've got one wall. Then go all the way to the bottom and just figure out where the next wall is. This way you know where the ancient danger is and you know where to look. Because if it's if it's max in there, you will need to walk every single time tile like this to make sure that there's no scythers or max. If there is something like right there, attack it. But don't do that immediately. You can also see what you're attacking in the bottom left. So if you're attacking the right thing, it will pop up. In this case, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is one times two wide. So this is actually just a crypto sleep casket. Let's mark it. Let's mark it correctly. So that leads us to how to deal with the insects of this. The way you want to do it is just with like the mix. You want to walk on all the tiles to figure out what there is. Whenever there's something that takes up one to two, it's definitely a crypto sleep casket. So mark it. And that's basically what you do. You figure out everything like this. You'll see what there is. And if there is, you gotta go slow for the mechanoids. 
we know that there is actually insects in here. So the way to deal with those specifically is just walk back and forth. Figure out what is where. The insects themselves can't spawn until this is actually active. So figure out where there is hives, like right here. I cannot stand on that tile. That has to be a hive. Let's mark it. Let's continue and try to figure out if there are small hives or if there is more crypto sleep. The crypto sleeps are always lined up. That will help you a little bit. And did we have something here? Yes, we have something more there. Now, if it's an item on the ground, it, it won't you won't be going around it. So that's definitely also something. Also, it could be it could actually be a um, a wall as well. It could be something holding up the roof. Like right here, there's definitely something there. I'm not quite sure what, but there is something there. We could try to attack it. Okay, we are melee attacking a limestone wall, so that is not it. That is not it. But there is also something there. I'm not allowed to stand on that tile, but also not there. That's most likely a Crypt Sleep Casket. You do not want to melee the Crypt Sleep Caskets, because if you do, you will activate what's in there. And if it's humanoids and they're alive and they don't like you, they will actually melee you as well in here. You are basically invulnerable while you are in here, but not against other humanoids. So, we're just gonna check the rest, make sure we know where everything is. There is something up here, which is a one time two. If it's a one time two, it's always a crypto sleep. And, oh, this has to be one as well. Yeah. It can also just be, if you could get unlucky and it being two hives, but the chance of that is very, very, very low. So, you can also just use the shift right click to just set up a, a pathway like this. That way you can just see if there's actually anything in here. Like right there, there was something. What was there? It's just another crypto sleep. I'm pretty sure. It's a two times two, so it has to be. So there's most likely one up here as well. Or not, or not. Which means we can see five, maybe, Probably more six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and melee the things we found. See? Meleeing hive. That's good. We'll destroy that. Make sure it's gone. Destroy the other hive. Because if all the hives are gone when you open the ancient danger. Let's hope this works. It should. It should be a free win. With plenty of loot, no danger. I made a mistake, I didn't plan this correctly, but I planned everything else. So it's trial and error, figure it out, glitch your way in there, don't hit the crypto deep caskets, only hit the hives, and if there's mechanoids, just by being drafted and standing near them, will make sure that you will automatically hit them, and they will not hit you back. It's a safe technique that you can use. Whenever, wherever in your playthroughs, it requires a little bit of skill, getting used to, but that's it. It's very simple. Hope you enjoyed. Now on to mid-game. Mid-game. Mid-game is a little bit different. You've now acquired, most likely, new weapons. You might have like an assault rifle, a chain shotgun. Maybe you found a marine armor or something. Whatever you found, when you're in the mid-game, here's how you can deal with an ancient danger. So, the traps still work just as early game. Doing that will give you guaranteed victory as well. You could just make more traps, you can make them out of steel or plasteel to add more damage or stone. Since spike traps actually changes damage according to what material they're made out of. The base value of wood is 45%, so it could get a lot better. But if you want to just do it a little bit different, you want to use your technology, here is what you can do. First, let's take God Mode off. So basically what you do is you can use IEDs as well, if you're more fancying that compared to traps. But the plan is the same. You want to open it up, the Ancient Danger, and basically just have your people be in the end of this. Four IEDs is usually enough, five might be needed. But if you've got a lot of colonists, you've got a lot of weapons, you can also just brute force it. But here we go. Aaron has activated this. Now we just need to activate the thing itself. 
And that might be a little bit tricky. Because we actually do need to shoot them a little bit before they wanna actually hunt us. And um, that, that can be a little bit scary since we, we also wanna get out, right? That's why I'm keeping Oran here. He's holding up the, open the door, so immediately as we will leave here, he will leave as well. The door will close. We'll get up here. Then I'll close the time. And then we can just hang them from up here. There, we'll basically just put our tank in the middle. And just shoot them. And there you have it. That's how you deal with an ancient danger in mid-game. Now, doing this with... Doing this works if you scouted the building first and you know it's insects and there's a lot of insects, then go IEDs. If it's ever centipedes, lancers or scythers, do the traps. The traps are much, much more secure. Setting yourself up like this could just have a lancer standing at the bottom and shooting you in your face. You don't want that. The third way to do this on mid game is to just pretty much brute force your way in. Have all of your colonists, at least six colonists, just gang up, have your melee in the front, open it up, have your melee tank it, and put all your defensive things on your melee. Always try to have your marine armor. Marine armor and helmet is just, it does everything. So do that, and that's how you defeat the mid game. Now, the late game! Welcome to the late game. You have now achieved the pinnacle of human technology, and you hopefully got some better weapons than me. I want more people, maybe. So, for Ancient Danger, late game, it's the same as early and mid game. You can build traps, you can build IDs. This time, we're gonna show some brute force. It's by far the fastest way to do it. You don't have to set up everything, and it's pretty simple. First, apply the general tips. Check out the Ancient Danger, what's in there. Identify what's harmful. Yet again, we got our insects. And uh, in case of mechs, you always want to have, have an EMP grenade and just nade the entry point that you are you're going for. But yeah, we're just brute forcing. So you take all of your colonists. It's actually the pretty the simplest way of doing this. You take all your colonists, you place them in a nice pattern. Remember, don't stack them for more than three tiles. They will shoot each other. You don't want that. And have your EMP maybe in the back here. So what you want to do is just open it like this. Make sure your tanks are ready. If there's mechs in there, make sure to have shield belts as well on your tanks. And then also throw your EMPs further into the room so you actually won't get your own belts away. If this were to have been mechanoids instead, I would have placed my units next to the door, next to the entry point and just kill them, flank them when they get out. Having just one tank on one side, one tank on the other side, none in the middle, and then spread your firepower to the left and right. Just as basic pins and move. But in this brute force here, we simply just open it. We've seen it's just a few mechs, or not a few mechs, a few insects, and it's actually pretty simple. We'll just stand there, we'll deal with them. When you have a power armor, you pretty much can't get hurt. You stand there, you tank it, and there we go. Of course, if possible, always, 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 before you do anything, shoot at the nearest crypto sleep casket. Because you don't want to do this when you've killed the, the things inside, because they can actually help you quite a bit. This could have been like three friendlies or three enemies, and they could have pretty much dealt with the insects or mechanoids for you. So always do that first, so they fight each other, so you can get all the loot. And that's it. That's how you find Ancient Dangers. Now, if you are looking for more ways to fight Ancient Dangers, or if you are in doubt about anything in the video, then make sure to visit my Twitch. I'm streaming five days a week. I'm streaming a lot of RimWorlds, and we're going into some RimWorld speedrunning lately and some cool stuff. So um, check it down below in the description. There's a Twitch link and everything needed for the music. But that's it. I hope you liked it. That's how you find Ancient Dangers. There we go.